Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I'm going to try my very best to tell some of you guys why some of the questions you're asking are the wrong questions and why they're impossible to answer. Okay, so I just seen a question come over that was, what is the average salary for Biomed 3 in North Carolina? And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, that's impossible to answer. The reason that people have a salary range and why it's impossible to answer is because who are you as a technician? I mean, I know some Biomed 3s that all they do is work on infusion pumps. I know, they shouldn't be a Biomed 3. However, that's against the point. The point being is that every technician has different skill sets. They have different ambitions. They have <clears throat> different abilities. Some of them can communicate better than others. Some of them have specialty knowledge from a previous history. Some of them are military. Some of them are prior military. You know, I'll, it's impossible to answer. And the, that's why there's always going to be a range. And you should somehow just imagine the range and where you fit on that scale. You should have some sort of grasp over how successful you are as a biomed versus your training. The supply and demand also matters for the region. I mean, just because some place has a low cost of living, maybe there's very few biomeds in that region, so it's gonna have a higher uh, per hour cost. But you should never do anything in a per hour basis anyway. You should always do it over the course of a year. So that means if somebody gives you a salary range for a year, you just extrapolate that, uh, divide by 52, and you know, ta-da, there you are, times four, and that's your monthly salary. Uh, and then, you know, divide by 52, and then divide by 40, and, and that's your hourly rate. So, I mean, but the fact of the matter is, is that there's always gonna be a range. And that's because every, every technician, especially in this career field, is gonna be different. I know Biomed 3s that make well over a hundred thousand dollars a year I know some guys that are probably close to millionaires at, who are biomed threes and that's because they own their own business but they're a biomed three you see so you should never ask the question what's the average salary of this in this region you as a technician is always going to be completely dependent on yourself I have no idea who you are or where you at on the skill tree and thus, I could never answer you that question for you. But what I can tell you is that you, if you work in one place for a long period of time, you will make less money than somebody that moves from job to job. It's just the way it is. You're also probably gonna have less experience than the guy that moves from job to job. Thus, you're gonna have less pay. I can tell you that if you are a traveling biomed, like you go on these traveling gigs, like some of them that I offer, um, you're gonna make way more money. You're gonna be way over hundred thousand dollars a year, but that's because you're traveling So I mean <clears throat> There's so many factors on What's the average hourly rate of this biomed in this region? Don't do it by hourly do it by the annual salary expectations, and then there's gonna be a range Now I can tell you that if if you are an agreeable person and you are kind of a pushover not to put it in a negative light, but if you accept the you know whatever they give you and you don't negotiate well then that's what you get and you're gonna earn less if you know that you have certain select skills if you've done your research you know the cost of living in a region and you know that there's not very many biomeds applying for a certain position you can command a higher rate so if the national average for biomed 3 is seventy five thousand dollars a year but you're in the middle of nowhere you can command eighty five thousand dollars a year who who's to say it's it's really up to the location, the cost of living, everything. So, guys, from now on, just think about that. Don't ask what's the hourly rate in this area. It's impossible to answer. All these different skill sets. Somebody that repairs chemistry analyzers is going to be different than a guy that fixes sterilizers. Somebody that fixes general medical equipment is going to be different than a guy that fixes imaging equipment. I mean, it's it's just the way it is. So, with all these different specialties. Just think about your own skills, where you're at, where you want to go. And just to be honest, never settle. Like, do your research for the cost of living and where you're currently living versus where you want to move to. And then based on the cost of living, you can figure in how much you're making now versus how much you should project to be making over there, wherever it is. 
So anyway, guys, that's what I'm just putting this out there. Asking like what's the average rate of a biomed in a certain region is an impossible to answer question. And quite frankly, it's it's exhausting that it happens so often. So it is what it is, guys. Good luck. And if you guys need some help finding good jobs, betterbiomed.com. Thanks for watching. Ha <laughs> ha.